What's up guys, Danny Carlson here. This video is all about creating an HTML description for your Amazon listing to increase your conversion rates, to stop more people clicking off your listing onto someone else's listing, and this will give you the entire everything you need to know to do it yourself and learn this really valuable skill. So obviously an enhanced brand content description is a lot more powerful, but if you don't have access to Amazon brand registry, what you do need a registered trademark for today, an HTML description is your next best bet. If you're not using HTML, then your product description, it just gives this really unattractive giant block of text and no one reads giant blocks of text. The average attention span of people on the internet has gone down by 25% in the last 15 years, according to some sources. So it's never been more important to optimize your Amazon listing. Every last little ounce that you can do to keep people's short attention spans on your product and off of someone else. What's really important is, especially now, the product description is right in a place in the listing where right above it there's like customers who bought this item also bought or sponsored products um, related to this item right below that. So if your product description is really easy to scroll over or it's too difficult to read and people to skip past it, they're gonna skip straight onto someone else's Amazon listing, right? Um, so you wanna avoid that. So what is HTML? HTML just stands for Hypertext Markup Language and don't let that confuse you, it's actually really simple. And on Amazon, you only need the most basic ones. We're just gonna be talking about like four different tags and that's all you need to know. Like anyone can write HTML for an Amazon listing if you just have these four tags. So let's go over these. Okay, so we found this example here and let's scroll down to the description. So this is what I was talking about when it's really easy to scroll over. So he's actually used a little bit of HTML. So he's used some HTML to break this up into sections. If he was not using any line breaks in here, then this would all show up as one gigantic block of text. Um, so he's using a little bit, but we can make this look a lot better. Let's just take this and copy and paste this into our trusty HTML editor here. So this is a free one, it's by W3Schools, and you can see here they have some basic HTML already in here, so you can kind of see what it does. So let's paste this in here, and you press run. So this is what it would look like on Amazon over on the right-hand side if he didn't use any line breaks, but he's using some HTML to create these spaces here. So a lot of people, when they don't know what they're doing on Amazon, the description looks like this, and so easy to scroll right over a description like that. Like I said, guys, there's customers who bought this item, also bought right above it, and right below it, we got sponsored products related to this item. You don't want people to scroll directly over information that could lead them to a sale directly onto your competitor's listing, right? So let's just quickly go through this on the right here. So we can, we can edit this to show how we want it to look over on the left side. We can stick the spaces in here, but until we actually put the HTML code for the spaces, it's not gonna work. So that'd be the first thing. Um, line break, it's the most important one. So that is bracket BR bracket. Um, and you can just copy and paste this wherever you want a line break. So I'll just show you guys really quickly. Um, it's important to put it here too, because the effect of the space bar, when you press space, or uh, the enter bar, sorry, is the exact same as this right here. So if I want that same effect, I'm gonna to have to put this right there. So you can see I press run and over on the right, it's giving me that space right there, right? Um, I want this right here too. I'm gonna to have to put that there. And if I want a double space, I'm actually gonna to have to do this twice. So like I said, guys, it's the same as pressing enter bar. So if you want that same effect as pressing enter twice, you're gonna to have to stick it twice there. So I have it twice right here, press run. You can see I got the double space. So let's quickly fill out the rest of these. Okay, so you can see that looks better right there. We have that all figured out. I also like to bold the headings though. So that's another really easy one. That's the second thing I'd go and do is bold. So with bold, you have to tell, you have to tell the computer where to start and end this. So we have an opening tag and this is what you call a closing tag. So it's the same as opening tag, except you have a slash in front of it. So opening bolding tag and closing bolding tag, that just tells you where to start and end the bolding. So you press run, you can see that that is bolded. Now what happens if we don't have the ending tag? Let's just go over here and delete the end tag. And you press run and you can see um, it has no idea where to end it, so the whole thing is just bold. So it's important that we know where to end that. And let's stick that back there again. Um, and let's just copy and paste this wherever we want bold again. So here's another heading. 
paste that, make sure that it's an end tag with a slash in there. Um, let's do this note too and look a little bit better. Make that one an end tag. And boom, there we go. It looks a lot better already, right? And another one, um, so this looks kind of weird to me. This is, you know, we want to get rid of, we want to add another space there. So I'm just going to copy the, the line break here again, the bracket BR bracket. I'm going to add one right there. So it just so it looks the same as the above. Another really common one that I think looks really good is adding in bullet point lists. So this doesn't necessarily make sense to put that here, but I'm going to start an unordered list, they call it. So an unordered list is a bullet point list. So you have to start the list with UL. And then every time we want a bullet point, we have to go LI, which stands for list item. So just pretend like this is a bullet point. This is what it's going to show up as. So let's just, let's pretend this is a bullet point list. I'm going to stick bullet points for all of these here. Net, blah, blah, blah. First team. And at the end of the list, we have to stick an end tag for the bullet point list so the computer knows where to end the list. So end tag, unordered list. And let's press run and see what that looks like. So there we have the list. And one thing about unordered list is that it does automatically add a space onto the H end of the HTML. So we don't need these anymore. We can get rid of these line breaks. You can see this big space on the right. Delete. Run. So there we go. That looks quite a bit better. Information is easy to pick out. One actually, um, I mean, these are instructions that have to be in the right order, but let's pretend that we, these don't have to be in the right order. One interesting thing that we can do is we can drag these bullet points in the order of shortest to longest, and then it draws people's eyes into reading the entire list. It's a good little copywriting trick there. Um, it's good to use on your Amazon listing and other places as well. So that's just a good little trick there. And that right there, that's really all the HTML that you need for an Amazon listing. I'm just going to show you a few more just in case you want to use these. These are also useful. Um, italics, very similar to the bolding one. You have to do an opening tag and then also a closing tag of italics to tell the computer where to end that. So we have an opening and closing around volleyball. And you can see we have that in italic text. And let's say we wanted to make this list a numbered list instead of a bullet point list. All we got to do is change this from UL to OL on the opening and closing tag. One thing that's nice about this program, it tells you when you're making an error in your code too. So the computer knows that we started an ordered list here and then we're trying to close an unordered list, which doesn't make sense. So it's going to point out our mistakes there. And we press run and that's now a numbered list which you know they call an ordered list so really that's all you need guys it makes it super easy i like to have all the headings bolded so it's really easy to pick out the information for the customer they're scrolling down and they can see you know some of the common questions they have i also always like to use some kind of bullet point list because it just makes the information that much easier to pick out and like I said, guys, you want to take advantage of the fact that people have really short attention spans and then give them all the information they need in that tiny little attention span rather than them clicking onto someone else's listing. So hopefully this has been useful for you guys. One more thing about this. I made a really quick list here how to write a good HTML description that just has a recap of everything I just said. Here's a link to the HTML editor. Paste it in the left side, add in the line breaks, add in the bolding, italics, unordered lists, list items, press run, fix any errors, and uploading this to your Amazon listing. This is just super easy, guys. You just literally go into Seller Central and copy and paste it into the description field in the Amazon listing as HTML code. So you don't you don't copy and paste this. You copy and paste this code on the left side with all this this weird looking stuff in there, and then. Press save on Amazon and it's going to show up on your Amazon listing as actually finished HTML code. So I'll show you quickly what that looks like on Amazon. So here's an example of what that will look like in Amazon. So here's the bolded bit. So when you paste in any of the bolded sections like this, that's going to show up bolded on Amazon once you paste in the code into the back end. So hopefully this video helped out. Um, you can click the link below to the blog post for this article. That's what I showed here. 
that shows the step-by-step method and i'll have the link to the html editor and stuff in there if you guys have any follow-up questions too you can reach out to me on facebook or through our support i really don't mind helping you guys out more on a one-on-one basis as well so if you guys like this kind of stuff let me know in the comments and we will see you guys soon